Okay, welcome to Mucho TV, where we learn from one another and grow. My name is Jean Vena Himana. I am with a special guest, Sir Andrew. For those who don't know you, who is Sir Andrew? Thank you very much for the opportunity one more time. Um, Sir Andrew, um, I am originally from a country called Sierra Leone. It's a very tiny country in Africa, West Africa. And um, I've been in um, uh, New Brunswick here, Canada, for almost uh, 15 years. And um, going to my 16 years now, and June coming uh, next year. Um, I went to university here. I graduated from St. Thomas University. I studied human rights law. And um, I am an artist. I am a community advocate. And uh, I work strictly to empower uh, young people, youth, and, and advocate for my community and for youth in general from all backgrounds. Um, I was the president for the New Brunswick African Association for the past uh, 10 years. And um, just this past March, I just stepped down because I have a lot of other things I like to pursue um, to contribute more into the community through the arts, which I am. And I have this organization that I started while I was just graduating from university. It's called Battle of the Art ND. The mission of Battle of the Art is to be able to work with youth and uh, partner with community and leverage the artistic expressions and um, and risk to engagement and um, that promote social change and um, in communities and and um, support the triumph of youth through their journey using the arts to be able to um, express themselves and that's what I've been doing with Battle of the Art NB, which. Um, uh, which has um, triggered my, my, my own experience and allowed me to share my own um, knowledge. And um, me, myself, I was a refugee from Sierra Leone and my artistic skills, my knowledge, my experience and everything. And uh, I have to put that into the form of art and able to share with um, the community where I live here. And, and it has gone around Canada, not just in um, New Brunswick. And um, so that's who I am and that's what I've been doing. And um, yeah. So how uh, African descent are welcome in uh, New Brunswick? Well, uh, that's a big question. Uh, just like any other province in Canada, and um, uh, New Brunswick is a small, a small province compared to other places around Canada. Um, Africans are greeted, they are welcome. They welcome them fine. And, um, um, the same way I was welcome when I arrived in Canada um, um, is, is uh, Fredericton, especially and uh, Moncton and others are very welcoming places. Um, so Africans who have come here, they, 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 they get warm welcome right from the airports, right from the airports. And um, so that is very, very good. It's an eye opening for our members of our community um, to a new place that they call home. You say that you are artist. What is the role yes. of culture and uh, art to connect with the community? I think the art has a great role to connect with the community. The art is um, um, is a key play, the key role between community itself and in um, and creating happiness and creating change and. Um, and, and uh, when I mean change, we use the arts to advocate. We use the arts to, to, to make people feel good. We use the arts to share. We, knew the, uh, we use the arts to educate. We use the arts to, um, um, uh, to build communities. And um, so the arts, to me, it plays a vital role in making the community the way it is. And um, that's why I love the arts. So... Uh... Youth is uh, is the all background in community. They are from different countries. So, uh, are you with uh, African descent only, or you connect youth from around the world? Well, I connect with youth from around the world and um, 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 from all cultures. And right now, I work with um, youth from all around the world. Um, Battle of the Art Envy uh, works with youth from all over. 
And right now, because of the things, the 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 the, the, the uh, things that are happening and the, our current situation, and and um, um, in the past few years, what is happening, and uh, I feel that um, as an artist, it's a and um, I have a great role to play in the community to use my arts to advocate and um, to create change and to you know find ways on how to increase. Um, youth participation in different programs in our community. So and uh, so that's why um, uh, my current focus right now with Battle of the Arts ND, which is BOTA, is to amplify Black youth voice. And uh, because I feel that it, uh, it's, a, it's a role that I need to step in to play it, and nobody will do it if I don't step in, in my own region. And so I'm using that platform to able to empower and, but also build bridges, um, work with any other community partners and organizations. Uh, it doesn't matter which culture, um, but the goal right now is to able to empower, to amplify, to able to help uh, youth fight against their mental health, their challenges and traumas and everything that is happening around them. And I think that by using the arts, by opening my, 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 my platform, my stage and, um, and give them that opportunity, and to be able to share and also help uh, use that their own artistic skills to help those who are uh, younger than the younger kids, younger youth um, coming up in various communities in New Brunswick and beyond learn from those who have the opportunity to step on the platform to, to let them know that you can use your arts to able to create change. You can use your arts to amplify your voice. You can use your arts to actually tell what are your challenges, what are your joy, what are your uh, what are your fears? Uh, what are you optimistic about? And all of that in your community. And um, yeah. What is your good memories from all the performances, the show you organize? What do you, you, you can share with us? Your memory, your good souvenir you have? Um, there's only one word I can use, happiness. And... And um, it's a key to everything else. On the happiness, you have freedom. If you're not free, you'll not be happy, right? And um, on the happiness, you have joy, you have uh, uh, opportunities. If, you're, if you don't have opportunities, you will not be happy, right? So happiness is the word for me that, 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 that brings me memory. When I see, I watch, I sit down, I see a great shows where, that I put on that bring hundreds of people together and I see everybody smiling. To me, that's happiness and that's freedom. And that is what I wanna keep creating and um, give young people the opportunities um, for them to know that, yes, you can do what Sa is doing. Yes, you can able to pave way. Yes, you can able to use your art to be able to create a positive change. And um, so happiness is a key thing to me. You know, um, 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 I feel that um, every man, every child, every kid, every woman, everybody, no matter what gender you are, you deserve to be happy. And um, to me, the art plays a great role to happiness. It brings me memory. So um, happiness go with also a good mental health. You're very correct. Dur during this COVID-19, how your team, your youth are doing in this uh, tough situation? Well, we'll start with the word tough situation. It's really tough. It's really challenging. Not only for the youth, but for even us working with youth, for everyone working. It's really challenging right now. Now, most schools don't even have like a physical activities because of the COVID and the pandemic, everybody's afraid. And that is also affecting the mental health of the youth, the children and all of that. And uh, so it become people like us who work with young people, it become twice a work, twice challenges for us to able to deliver and able to make them um, buy into what we are trying to do to keep them happy, to, to, to fight against trauma, the challenges. And um, most of them are sitting home, they are bored and um, it can go out. So we have to create a lot of online programs so right now, as I'm talking to you, every weekend, Battle of the Art NB uh, do a live stream um, performance and um, with Black youth right now from around Canada. 
every weekend they perform, they talk about their challenges, they talk about their joys, they talk about how their art is helping them fight against COVID right now and all of that. And they perform and it's so joyful. So that's how I'm using the platform right now, the Battle of the Art platform, to be able to amplify, to be able to create, to be able to fight against what is happening right now. Because um, it is, it is, it is, is it a time for us to engage um, young people, black folks, and um, every other member in the community to be able to learn from one another, share with one another. It doesn't matter now which color, which culture you come from, and. Um, uh, it's a time for us to fight what is happening right now. It's not a one person fight. It's not a government fight. It's all of our fights, you know, and um, parents are finding it difficult at home and, um, and kids are finding it difficult sitting close to mom and dad for four hours, three hours is challenging because they can't go out too much. They can't do what they normally do on normal days, right? And um, so um, I feel that um, 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 the challenges never stops. And uh, so we have to keep using creative ways and which I'm using back through Ball of the Art NB amplifying and uh, never stop uh, creating any online activities that keep um, young people active, black folks active, black folks well, and, 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 um, and stay on top of the game. We, ho we are hoping that uh, COVID will finish maybe next year. We hope that we will back to, uh, to the normal. Yes. And I want to express that how I appreciate your connectivity, how you connect uh, artists from different uh, provinces. I remember our performance, uh, Burundi Dramas and the other artists from around the Canada, mm -hmm. Moncton uh, uh, Casino. It was really a big event. And thank yeah. you. Thank you again, organizing event like that. Like that. So um, what is the connection you have with other provinces just to bring more uh, youth from different provinces to share their experiences? Yeah, so uh, um, one thing about what I do, um, I always want to challenge myself. Um, and so um, every day I have to connect with somebody from another city, from another province, from another place, from another location. This I do on a daily basis not even on a weekly basis, on daily basis. And uh, so I have a very good connection with many people around uh, Canada. And, uh, but the goal is to able to form team, work with other people, see how other people are doing, what are you doing on your end that is uh, making the people that you work with uh, become happy. Remember I used the word happy earlier on. Um, so what are you using? How are you working there? What is going on? And try to see how best I can I use those kind of um, uh, skills or, or, or method or approach to able to do well in my community. And talk, if I talk to somebody in Vancouver, I would like to talk to somebody in Toronto, hey, this is what this guy is doing in Vancouver. Here's how they are doing. So I share, I share everything around so that everybody find a small piece of what I'm saying that will help them uh, fight against through this time. So the connection around uh, Canada um, and with other communities, and um, it's a nonstop, it's an ongoing one. And uh, because that's what makes us um, who we are. Really, that's a, that's a good uh, testimony for, from you. <laughs> and uh, I, what I want to just uh, to know from you, I know yeah, that you are, you have Africa under your skin. Big time, big time. Tell us about Africa in your words. Uh, when we talk about Africa, to me, it's, that's, that's very big. That's, that, that's a big word you just tell me. It's, a, it's just one word, but it's a, uh, it's a very big word. And uh, Africa, Africa is, a, is a hub for, for every culture in the world in Africa. So Africa is not just for, you can't just find black people in Africa. You can find white people. You can find India. You can find everybody in Africa, you know, and, um, and Africa is a unique place to me and that has the good and that have challenges. They fight, um, they fight on daily basis because um, um, every country is different from the other and leadership and, and um, uh, trust me, it's, 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 a, it's a hub that makes the world a better place. That's what I would say. 
maybe in maybe in a short in a short form. Africa is a place that makes the world a better place. And that at the same time, it creates chaos in the world because many world powers right now, everybody wants a piece of Africa. You know, everybody wants to go to Zimbabwe, they go do there and dominate the British, or the British want to go here, dominate the Belgian, or this wanna go here, dominate the North American. So so Africa create that space where everybody wants a piece of. That's how Africa is. But being an African makes me a happy somebody that um, we can stop creating. Creativity is what we are. And tomorrow, maybe the more we create, the younger generation will come and make the world and Africa a better place. And the world can go to Africa and Africa can be a power on its own too. Yeah. Um, this weekend could be the uh, one young world uh, event internationally uh, it was scheduled for the international meeting uh, which must happen in uh, Munich Germany mm -hmm. due to the COVID it had been rescheduled for April mm -hmm. so my dream is to see young generation from Atlantic Canada participate in that meeting how do you think that we can build uh, ambassadors that to To, to, to give them opportunity to be part of that international meeting, learn from one another. I think that would be a very great um, opportunity for young people in the, in the East Coast Canada. Um, we, can, um, we need to pull in different, different um, um, teams together from all across the Atlantic and uh, probably have like a Um, have uh, scheduled meetings and uh, wherein we could show um, some of the past uh, one uh, world and we can show some of um, the, the activities that have been going in Bayern Munich with um, that event and um, show it to here to, to young people here and to mentors and to other leaders and to other community members so that it comes to, they start to know why it is um, um, very necessary for Atlantic Canada young people in Atlantic Canada to be part of that. And I think by starting like that would be a great, great thing. But even just us talking about it now, is a good thing because it goes out to the media and it starts to get young people um, um, asking, oh, what is that? What is that? Then we now start to disseminate the information to them. Probably, hopefully COVID get done soon someday. Then we start holding like a group um, sessions and tell them why it's important for young people to come together, to be able to share their ideas, their goal, their vision on how to make the world a better place and, and uh, what they want to do for their own communities and stuff like that. As I know you, you innovate all the time. What is your next project? Uh, well, right now, I'm, I'm, as I told you, currently I'm doing a project which is called um, Amplifying Black Youth Voice Through the Arts, uh, which is going on until the end of November. Um, after that, in the new year 2021, I want to do uh, Battle of the Art NB. We will partner with all of our other organizations um, um, around the country to be able to do more of um, anti-racism um, events um, here in New Brunswick in collaboration with other uh, people from around uh, the nation and to able to give um, black voice um, and, 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 and um, black folks a voice to able to speak and, and, and um, create educational tools and, and um, bring people who know the culture, who, who know the history and people um, who can tell stories, people who can, um, 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 who can, um, share with young people who don't know nothing about their own culture, about Africa and stuff like that, about the challenges, the people who are fight for us way back in the day and up to today and um, all of that. So both I'll be, I'll be undertaking a very big project. So this will start in the new year, 2021, immediately after I'm rounding up this one I am on right now. So right now I'm sitting down, it's like I'm cooking everything up in my brain right now and trying to see how best I can lay it down to become effective and able to become um, 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 a beneficial thing that um, the audience that gonna be part of this who will come, who will listen whether via Zoom or via um, 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 Microsoft team or whatsoever link, they're able to access this program for, they're able to know that yes, this was worthwhile. This is a great project. 
you know, and we have to able to um, have used the arts to able to fight and racism, which I feel that I, as I say again, I always prefer again that with my skills and my artistic connections, I, I need to play a great role to able to fight racism. And that is the next project for Battle of the Art NB. Now, uh, for those who want to know more about you your activities uh can you give some uh contact information yep and um you can go to ball of the and um you can connect with me and um it's easy to catch me as well on um social media platform sir andrew and my last name is bongo i don't even want to try to say it it's very long for people to catch it but uh, i believe i'm the only sir andrew online and uh, people can find me and um, um, can connect. And I like people, whoever want to connect with me, you have to tell me about a project. You have to tell me about something that will create change. I, I don't just want to connect with people. I want you to connect me and tell me something um, um, that you are doing that will help create change. And um, those, are, those are the kind of connections we want right now. Thank you for coming to uh, uh, my show. And uh, I hope that in the future, I would like to come to Fredericton. So try that to, uh, to experience what you are doing uh, on place. And also, uh, I would like that maybe we collaborate with the Mucho Radio, Mucho TV, and mm -hmm. we can stream uh, and broadcast around, around the world what we are doing. Mm -hmm. And what we can is to give back to the community our skills what we know that's right i would that's like right. to to come to organize workshop and uh, mm -hmm. teach how to to, to do things and the mm -hmm. youth they can experience and connect with the community using technology that's right for sure for sure for sure you're very right 2021 the next new project with ball of the arts nb and fighting racism and uh, i'm going to bring mucho tv to be part of this and also you hold workshop and talk to young people we can do this whether online whether live stream anyhow let's hope that let's pray that COVID is gone by then and uh, then we can able to interact more but um, for sure I want to let you know that what Mucho TV is doing is amazing for all of us and um, this is a community and it's, a, it's our hub and uh, let's keep talking let's keep sharing let's keep acting let's keep using our talent and are uh, able to make a community a better place. And um, don't stop doing what you're doing, my brother. I think this is amazing. Thank you very much and have a good day. And you as well, stay well. Thank you. <laughs>